All right, so new article from Empire, like the past few days. The, the headline. The Batman is a standalone movie. Movie. I'm joking, Lola. Don't panic. Don't panic. Let's get into this. Uh, you've bested my game. Wait, was that it? Uh, now I'll let you in on a secret. Click for reward. The game is through for now, but not for good. What's the reward? <gasps> what is up, Bat Family? Welcome to a brand new The Batman video update. Yes, a, a lot of juicy stuff to get into again today. Uh, we'll get into some of the new Catwoman, Selina Carl coverage with Zoe Kravitz commenting on it towards the end portion of this video because I wanted to tackle some of the more immediate news that is more important because it's it's a very good headline. I'll give Empire that. I would say it's, it's not necessarily misleading, but to a lot of the general audience out there, there will be like that people are already asking me, but Boba, what, didn't you say there's a trilogy? What, what, this is a standalone movie. And yeah, I want to clarify this what this means do not panic um and yeah i really didn't expect to be making this video today i don't mean to be making this much frequent the batman content but this one i absolutely have to clarify because now people are thinking there's just going to be one movie and i can give you a lot of reassurance in terms of where my confidence levels are through the roof and you'll see what i mean or what they mean by stand alone. It's not what you think. Let's read out this article. We'll get to the Catwoman bonus stuff at the end. Plus there's some bonus stuff in this article from Robert Pattinson talking about two more movies. So that should already in this premise of this video give you some reassurance. But yeah, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Also everyone, as I was making this video, uh, the Riddler website, in case you didn't know, there is a website for the marketing that the Riddler is kind of like interacting with you if you crack his riddles. Um, there's a reward. Now, Yes, I thought it'd be a good idea to do this with you guys. So if you want to get to that part of the video after the explanation, do enjoy it. Because, yeah, I kind of look like an idiot. But I eventually do crack it. I do like riddles, but I have to admit that some of them I was pretty dumb on. But there is a reward, and it's, it's a fun outcome. So I thought I'd include a little bonus segment in this video. But back to uh, uh, past Boba. <laughs> So, this article literally just came out minutes before making this video. From Empire once again, this one has caused a little bit of a... It's not like massive meltdowns, it's just obviously uh, some fans are thinking, Hey, baby, what? The Batman is a standalone movie, but Robert Pattinson has a map of where he'd go next exclusive. So, following this. So, the last time we got a new big screen Batman, he was being plugged into a pre-existing franchise. Now, just to interject, as I always bloody seem to do, those are key words. The last time we got a new big screen Batman, he was being plugged into a pre-existing franchise. Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne factoring into Zack Snyder's Man of Steel follow-up, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. For better or worse, he was always part of a bigger picture, immediately pitched against Henry Cavill's soups for a showdown, and subsequently flying into the Justice League. But that's not the plan for Matt Reeves' upcoming The Batman, introducing Robert Pattinson as a very different Bruce Wayne slash Batman. For the first time since Christopher Nolan's game-changing Batman begins, we're meeting a brand new Bat in his own right. And by the way, just as additional information before we get into the quote, this is information we've known in terms of standalone since 2017. And I'm going to highlight some tweets from what Matt Reeves said just to kind of add more evidence to reassure you guys, because I don't want anyone panicking about this just being it. Like, trust me, trust me. Dylan Clark says, as the first standalone Batman in 10 years, the hope is we can lay a foundation that you can build stories upon. Which isn't to say there isn't stuff planned on the fringes of Reeves' film, as we know, as he points out here, a raft of HBO Max spin-off series are in the works, including one set in Gotham PD, and one reportedly due to involve Colin Farrell's Penguin, and who knows if the rumors are correct, Zoe Kravis is Catwoman, but that's not confirmed. But if nobody is talking about crossovers or specific sequel plans yet, which you don't really do before the movie's aired, by the way, just to give you another piece of evidence there, like just to help you digest this, you just don't do that before the movie's out. Pattinson has had thoughts about where he'd take his version of Bruce Wayne if 
future installments were to materialize. Hmm, I wonder why he's been thinking that, because there's obviously been some early talks as to what could happen in the future, but as usual, they normally tackle the first block first. Pattinson said, I've made a kind of map for where Bruce's psychology would grow over not four more movies, not five more, but two more movies, he says. I would love to do it. Hmm. It's always been a trilogy as we've kind of been talking about. That's why he says over two more movies. Now, obviously, this should start to, like, um, sound reassuring enough to you already, but I am going to lay it down thick in terms of reassurance just to make sure nobody is panicking out there. And I'm sure I'm going to get some comments saying, but, but, but I wasn't panicking, but, like, trust me, there, there will be some... And I've already seen it <laughs> uh, over over the old good old Twitter, if you know what I mean, where I kind of saw this break first. So, yeah, um, Pattinson has said, and obviously a lot of this Matt Reeves Batman is about the psychology of Bruce in his early years. He's already made, I've made a kind of map of where or for where Bruce's psychology would grow over two more underlined, two more movies. And he would love to do it but also it is a bit of celeb speak in terms of also official speak where i'm sure he can renegotiate after the first film for maybe a bit more depending on the su success of this film you don't really say oh yes trilogy when there's a lot more uh you know it's optics and politics of stuff that you know what i'm trying to say like you don't outright be like yeah batman 2 but the batman 3 in the official capacity and 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 as for like why this is a standalone film it doesn't mean solo film necessarily and i will dive into that in just a moment but f before we do as for reeves he's currently focused on the batman hoping to deliver a dark knight story that feels distinct to the myriad others that have come before I've only ever made each movie as a passion project. This even more so, because when you know something has been done well before and is so beloved, you can't just come in and sleepwalk through it. You have to shoot for something. We're trying to leave our mark on this. Let's talk about what a standalone film means. Now, a standalone movie usually infers just like how the Dark Knight trilogy, or should let's just refer to Batman Begins, and there is... Somebody thankfully tweeted this to me. I, I would play the audio, but I don't want to risk copyright. Where Nolan talks about um, the fact that, you know, uh, Batman Begins was a standalone movie. And they even get into sequel baiting, if you will, or talks of the trilogy. But you just don't do that in the sense of, um, you know, it's still standalone outside of a larger universe. The standalone keywords stand alone is more that it's not connected to other universes other lore other continuity it's standalone in terms of how batman begins is standalone from well obviously there wasn't a universe at that time but let's just say uh, any kind of previous superman film with maybe brandon ralph if you will i don't know um and the same with this and this is what I'm about to get into with Matt Reeves' comments from 2017 where people were panicking a bit, a bit with his script for the Batman because a lot of people back then thought that it, he could be helming Batflex still. He addressed what he meant by that and how, it, you know, to clarify even further, it's just not pertaining to like a larger, 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 larger universe. Hence again, underlining and highlighting what standalone is. Now, a standalone film is just not a part of any other franchise. And you can get, like, funnily enough, standalone sequels, which is more true pertaining to, like, the larger build upon works of from the film like Gotham PD and the Colin Farrell Penguin show but yet again with optics and politics of this in mind and you do tend to approach the first movie as a standalone not only that it probably works as a standalone like Nolan said in his kind of thing like it wasn't sequel bait that Joker card set up it was actually more about the fun of where even if in your own head canon and the imagination as I've said in many times before very similar to what Nolan said in that interview it's more for the audience to imagine where these characters can go as well but it will be there and just like what we've heard through rumors there is most certainly sequel bait in this movie as well Robert Pattinson already has a roadmap he's obviously had preliminary discussions about this kind of arc probably not that they've massively focused on the second and third movie at all but the fact that he's even articulating in his mind he's got a bit of a roadmap for Bruce's psychology and how that arc grows out a bit you really think he had that conversation by himself and not with somebody who rhymes with peeves 
So back in 2017, there's this article on fandom which nicely collects it together. This was posted August 23rd, 2017. Uh, they put up there at the top. The Batman director Matt Reeves took to Twitter to set the record straight about comments he made regarding on whether or not the Batman <laughs> would be part of the DC Extended Universe. And then this article, funnily enough, goes on to say, looks like Reeves wasn't quite clear in his original statement. We'd mentioned that it might have been a possibility. This is what he meant. Looks like we should have assumed just that. Looks like the Batman will will be a standalone film in the sense that it won't be beholden or saddled down with connection to other DCEU films. See what I mean there? Same with Nolan's trilogy and how that was standalone. And I really don't mean to come across condescending when I'm just being that pronounced um, to, I don't know, anything else. It's standalone. So the Batman is also standalone. This is something we've known for years. It's just this headline from Empire will make people panic. And that quote that made everyone panic back in 2017 about what this meant from Matt Reeves was as follows. Well, I have a vision for a way to do something with that character, Batman, that feels like it resonates with me personally and a perspective that can grow out into other things things. When they, Warner Brothers, approached me, what they said was, look, it's a standalone, it's not part of the extended universe. So again, those are the lenses to look at this Empire article headline through. And I felt like I had to just really blurge that out and making you guys feel secure in how, yes, clip this all you want in terms of if they say, like, right, we, we haven't come to a deal, Robert Pattinson has walked away from the table, in, in whatever uh, year's time. Um, but I'm very confident this will continue into a trilogy or there will at least be a sequel. I'm very confident on that. The success of this movie, whether it's written well or not, I'm just putting that out there for the sake of argument. Um, it will be booming. And he says he would love to do it. Like you have to, especially with now we've really definitively explained that standalone doesn't mean solo. Uh, think that this will obviously be carrying on. It's just before for optics reasons and things like that. It's just um, you don't really talk about a sequel when the first one hasn't even released. So hopefully I have drilled that and repeated myself enough into people's heads to make them kind of understand what that means. And it's just cool. Like funnily enough, despite that being... You know, whether you believe that's a misleading headline or not, it's good that they included that quote from Pattinson anyway, saying that he would love to do two more movies. Hmm. 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 All right, so this one is just a small preview for Zoe Kravitz's Catwoman. Some really cool details she gets into uh, with how she prepared for the role. But then I will get into some of that Riddler stuff I teased at the beginning of this video. So, the Batman Zoe Kravitz studied cats and lions fighting to become Catwoman, exclusive image. Now this image is kind of exclusive in a way, but it was in the first Batman trailer. So what's the first thing that comes to mind when you come to think of Catwoman? One of the most famous characters in Batman's orbit, sometimes friend, sometimes foe, often something in between. She's notoriously stealthy, a crafty cat burglar, but she's also a formidable fighter too, able to hold her own against Gotham's finest. They're big, pointy, extremely threatening shoes to fill, and Zoe Kravitz knew just how how much work she'd need to put in to embody the role in Matt Reeves' as The Batman. When working with stunt coordinator Rob Alonzo for her physical training, she found a characterful way to pin down Selena's movements, getting her David Attenborough on and pouring over bits of nature footage. We watched Cats and Lions and how they fight and talked about what is actually possible when you're my size. And Batman's so much stronger than me. What is my skill? It's being fast and tricky. So we did some really interesting floor work that incorporated different kinds of martial arts and capoeira, capoeira, I always screw up that word, and a kind of feline dance-like movement. The result is a Catwoman who moves with precision and with a purpose rooted in the character's emotional state. Rob's just not trying to do a bunch of impressive backflips that wouldn't be possible for that person to do. And he takes into account where we are in the story and where the characters are emotionally. I really like her saying that. So it was really fun to work from that place. And that's true. With Rob's kind of fighting and the way you see that in the trailer, his rage and his kind of like long, hard punches, 
is it speaks to the largest emotional state of where that character is with how quick to rage he is. Same with Selena and what Zoe is kind of explaining here. And with Reeves taking a noir approach to the material, it offers up another side of Selena Carl for Kravitz to play into. The burgeoning femme fatale, slinking in the shadows around Robert Pattinson's brooding hero. This is an origin story for Selena, she says. So it's the beginning of her figuring out who she is, beyond just someone trying to survive. I think there's a lot of space to grow, and I think we are watching her become what I'm sure will be the femme fatale. So yeah, that, that is the update with Zoe Kravitz. There's not really too many images like we've broken down the past couple of days, but by the way, just to let everyone be aware, on Twitter or Instagram, I'm sure you may have already seen it, the Empire images have already leaked. Now I would cover them in this video. There's some amazing stuff we're already getting in there. A good look at Riddler. Um, we see Selena kind of holding her hand up to her face like that with uh, nails on in a very similar comic book Catwoman pose like that. Uh, there's some brilliant stuff, Jeffrey Wright, uh, Jim Gordon and Batman looking over something, very animated series, kind of consulting each other, looking at one of Riddler's clues. It's all already out there, but I can't put the channel at risk. Um, I know that may be overcautious for some people, but, you know, if it's officially unreleased in an issue that they're meaning to get out in a few days' time, I'm not really gonna put that out right now. So, I thought it'd be fun to do this Riddler thing together. I don't really intend to finish it. I don't think I'm freaking capable because I'm not Batman, but I mean, I know this isn't really catered for Batman, but either way, guys, either way, go to this website yourself. You could probably see the link in the address bar. Here, if I just refresh the page, this is what it looks like when you load it up. It says tracing, tracing, bootload, and we know the Riddler in the movie clearly has some access to technology to stream to people. Couldn't stay away, ready for more? Beforehand, it said, ready for a game, just me and you. Uh, proceed? Yes, let's do this. Are you sure you have what it takes? Let's begin. What's black and blue and dead all over? You. I don't know, you? <laughs> Question everything. Include your answer. Oh, okay. Hey, that's what Riddler says in the trailer, okay? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Batman. You're smarter than I thought! Ah, wait, wait. I knew it! I knew that <laughs> you cause bruises on Batman. That I generally didn't know that was the answer, by the way, so I'm kind of low-key proud of myself right now. Yes. I'm patting myself on the back, but can you blame me? Okay, right, right, Riddler, what have you got next for me? Those who make me are likely to break me. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I literally searched the internet for that one. It says you scour the internet for truth, but you still need to answer me. Okay, okay, Riddler. God damn it. Let me think about this one. Okay, all right. Those who make me are likely to break me. I promise! I promise! It's got to be a promise. Like, I, I like riddles, by the way. You got it! Oh, fuck's sake. I thought, that, I thought that was it. Those who make me are likely to break me? It's gotta be a promise. Those who make me are likely to break me. I don't know, silence? I don't know, I don't know. do you see what I'm going with there? Come on, you don't even think about it. Look, Edward Nashton. All right, fair enough. Right. Truth. Those who make me like that. Law. Ah! Ah! Edward. Edward, I see what you're doing here. I can... Okay, here we go. Here's another one. How many are there? I could be easy. Or a dead end. Careful when... You... Oh, I should say it in his voice. I can be easy. <laughs> or a dead end. Careful what you choose. Careful when you choose to cross me. I don't know. A freaking street? A street? A street? Ah! Ah, okay. That was easy. Uh, you've bested my game. Wait, was that it? Uh, now I'll let you in on a secret. Click... For reward. The game is through for now, but not for good. What's the reward? <gasps> oh, that's really cool. Oh, that is really awesome. That is really awesome. So these are the GCPD files for what the Batman looks like. Holy crap. Yo. I'm fanboying out now. I like that. These are, like, because people don't have photographs of the bat, these are what he kind of would look like um, 
you know, obviously, if you had a sketch artist do that, that's awesome. That was that was fun. Now, as I said, Matt Reeves also posted this that you're probably seeing on screen. I have to admit, I'm too dumb for this. I do want to acknowledge as well, people are apparently getting different rewards. Just got tweeted by Keeper Bond, who said there's this uh, Riddler insignia, kind of, but it's also got some codes on it. And yet again, I believe these are all crackable, just like how the fandom has cracked them before. I do not have the time to try and even crack this now. I can't even do that, it, it, full transparency, but... I'm sure somebody out there will. Uh, but it's cool to think, actually, there's more than one reward. I didn't realize. I thought it was just the police sketch that everyone would get. But it turns out people are indeed getting other rewards and other photos. So, hey, let's have a good time with this, guys. And I think that's going to wrap up the video. Just that. So, yeah. Let me know your thoughts and everything. Hope this was like a fun bonus video because it was just meant to be a debunking, like, fun explanation video. Then it turned into something else. And then it turned into me being a dumbass, but eventually figuring it out. I probably would have died in a Riddler trap, but hey, let me know how well you did, guys. Uh, but yeah, like this video if you did. Enjoy it. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Uh, if you want to support the channel more, I do have a Twitter link down there. You can follow me outside. That doesn't really support the channel, but it means you follow me. But if you do want to support the channel, do consider subscribing, liking, and maybe visiting my Teespring store to get a boba beanie don't know where it is but hey it's got my logo on it but anyway guys thank you so much for watching hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and i'll see you fellow bat family in the next video goodbye